Hey everybody, KJ4FGI. I just built this go box for a friend of mine. He did me a big favor, so uh, I wanted to do something for him. He's a great guy. He's in Kentucky. I'm in Florida. Uh, Bobby, I put my UHF VHF radio in there so I could get an idea of, because uh, I know you're going to be using probably the ICOM 703. Um, you can, once you put the separation kit in, you can Velcro the head right to the top. Um, I, it, so it's a piece of cake. It won't go nowhere. I'm, I'm going to put Velcro inside the case for you. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to, I got their speaker. It's, uh, it's on Velcro too. Um, I'll put the speaker inside and this way you'll have it. Everything matches up very nicely. What I did was um, I also put a light in here uh, because when it gets dark out, you're not going to be able to see your radio. So what you do is you turn the light on. Oh, I just disconnected it. That's great. Take two. Perfect. This is what I call intelligence. All right, I'm not going to redo this over. <laughs> I'll just leave this mistake on there. But anyway, it pulls right on out, Bobby. And um, you'll have plenty of light to see any of your controls, your knobs, whatever. And this, uh, this also pivots. So you can move it in any direction that you want. Okay. Now, what you'll put in first is you'll put your radio in first, then you put the battery in. And uh, you can throw a little tab of Velcro on a battery if you want. It's not going to go anywhere because when you put the cover on the case and you lift it up, the battery's going to be on the bottom. But uh, you might want to do that. But uh, what I did do is I do put Velcro on the radio. I put a little on the bottom. Now, if you use the ICOM 703, um, I just thought about this. Here's a hamstick. This is a 20 meter hamstick and you can tune uh, all the bands except for 80 meters. Um, oh, and 6 meters, whatever. Uh, but you'll be able to tune the bands on that. And uh, let's see. Just get this off for a minute. Your hamstick screws into this adapter. The adapter is pretty cool. I'm going to be using this on uh, my ammo can, this is, and I'm going to play around with it with my uh, KX3. And then this is just a, a double male. Now, this one's going to go to your radio. Everything is marked. This is for external power supply in case you want to use an external power supply. Um, power pole, plug it right on in. Your UHF, VHF cables are uh, all labeled. And of course this one's for the battery. Velcro makes everything so nice and easy to pull everything apart. Now, um, if you, the only thing this meter, this meter will pop out, but I would suggest taking just the two screws right here and popping it out, and that'll work. Uh, it'll pull it right out, and then you'll basically have all the wiring except for some wires that are going to the power poles on the side. Um, you might have room to put the uh, the low battery monitor. Uh, you could probably Velcro it to the side over here. Or you can put it right up on top and um, cover that hole while that hole was there, I don't know. Or you can just Velcro right here to the side, it goes really nice. Just make sure you're away from the door. Now, uh, with the UHF VHF, like you saw in my other YouTube video, I mean, you'll put 50 watts out with this and uh, you'll put your 35 watts out. There is no loss whatsoever. Uh, but 50 watts, of course, will cook your brain, so I would keep it down to 10 watts. I 
and she dust covers. Keep the radio. I took one off of mine uh, so I could get this completed. Uh, let's see. Here's your wiring. This is your junction block uh, with all the cables. I'll show you how you'll be able to know what uh, what goes where. Um, there are jumpers in over here that I put, and uh, well, it's all explained in a wiring diagram. Back here, let's see if you can see inside there. Yeah, all right. That's the jack for your charger. There's a toroid on there to stop any interference going out or coming in, and of course this plugs into this battery in the back for charging so you never have to remove it. There's your charging port on this side. On the other side when you're using your HF, you can put your radial in here. You put one your wire in here, I don't know, 35 feet, 25 feet, whatever. A quarter wavelength or whatever frequency you want to use. You can put a couple of radials in there, attach it in there and throw it out to carry some wire with you. There's your 25 amp circuit breaker. Uh, you can also put a stake in the ground and you can ground the box if you want. Um, there are your power poles. You got uh, two of them. And of course your on off light switch. I didn't put a toggle switch there because the toggle switch will probably break if it's on the side. So um, I put a push button over there so it won't break. Uh, let's see. What I do with mine, I plug my battery. I had the wire coming in so I could plug the battery in and out over here. So I, I disconnect it. Um, I don't have a switch in mine. I wasn't going to put a switch in this because, like I said, I don't want toggle switches on the outside. Here's the wiring diagram. Let's see if we got that on the camera. Yeah. Here's the wiring diagram, Bobby. Here's your voltmeter. The volt amp meter up in the corner. This is your circuit breaker. You have your power poles on the side and you got the light switch. Over here you got your external power supply input and this is for your battery on the uh, inside. Here's your radio and here of course is the lamp and then the jumpers are explained right here. I use red and I use black so you'll know which ones how they are jumped out and you'll know how the power comes in. Just follow the power and it only goes to one jumper and then it goes from here it goes up to the voltmeter the input and then the other part goes to the circuit breaker and then the circuit breaker of course to the uh, junction block now for anybody that's watching this video what I did was this is a hinge to you know like a, a, a drawer or something you pull it out and you know how they slide up and down you buy this over at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot um, what, what I did was I mounted it. I used this 3M tape that they use to mount windows in skyscrapers. And uh, they actually use tape. It's not bolted or sealed anyway. It's a, it's a tape that they use. And um, it's not going to come out. But anyway, what you do is you just mount it to the top. And you always have your light there. You just slide it out. It slides out plenty far and you can turn it in any direction you want. You can probably even turn it around facing you if you wanted to. And then just slide it back in. And that's it. So that's another idea for a, a go box, but it's pretty easy to do. And um, Bobby, I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to have a happy Thanksgiving. Yes, I did. I put your call sign on there. And uh, let me know, and then we'll ship it out. All right, talk to you later, Bobby. Thank you. Uh, everybody else, KJ4FGI is clear.